Hi guys, today I'm going to be watching the first three episodes of my series of Locked In. I'm terrified, I've got to relive the experience and I can't be asked. Let's go. Oh my God, is this the bedroom? Here oh, we it's are. tiny. Bunk beds. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Funny thing about this is, I remember the runner uh, who dropped me into Locked In, she went, oh my God, you're the first one. And I was like, no way. And then I was like, okay, so I'm the first one. And then I got into the car that takes you down there. Uh, and then one of the producers said to the taxi driver, oh yeah, just take her in like you did to everyone else. And then I was really thrown off. So I had no clue if I was the first one. But when I was in there, I'm very grateful I was the first one because I feel like my introduction was done properly. That was quick, I've done the house already. It was a tiny house. Right, my bestie Max. Hello. Oh, bless him. Oh, oh my God. This is so funny to see us meeting for the first time because obviously we're friends now and it was so awkward. And Max was the one person I was really intimidated to meet because he had such a big personality and I thought I'd hate him. And I did oh, for the sick. first day. Do you know what else about Max? The entire time that we were talking, he lied. The entire time. Told me he got loads of GCSEs. Told me he goes to the gym loads. It's a lot of it. It's a lie. Because I do snore, I'm thinking, where am I out the way of? Go flat my ass oh, out. No, nah, I'm not going for a bunny. That's a bit embarrassing. I think Ugh, this is making me cringe. Like the small talk's making my asshole go in. It's really awkward. What are you most looking forward to in the locked in house? Galdon, of course, I like I'd have been in that, but no one slept with him. Just to confirm that. I thought Max was gonna be worse than he was. I feel like I thought, because the first thing he said to me was like, oh, um, I hope someone cries because then I can just take the piss out of them the whole time. And I was like, I'm a crier. So I don't know how this is gonna work. I was quite intimidated by him, which is funny. Yeah, do you know what, maybe when you're all doing- Not them zooming into my flat arsing on that ball. That was a Been violation. I could just be doing this. You know what, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if it's nice that you joined me on the ball. Actually, I feel like it's getting my nerves out as well. Our faces are there on the wall They well. also did me dirty with the picture they used on the wall. I mean, brutally honest with you there. I had a camel toe, my nipples were out and they didn't, face tune my hips inwards, so. Right, next episode, episode two, is me and Rachel looking like a fresh pile of shite. <laughs> I can't, it doesn't have the same effect if you're washing just with your hands. Yeah. Oh, you I want me to be a smelly beast. Didn't bring my puff. What you're saying. That would be preferable. <gasps> God. <laughs> <laughs> Max's sneezes were fucking weird. I thought they were joking for so long, but he actually sneezes like that. And I think someone needs to investigate that. God! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? You're, you're, you're talking about the XG and XA of Sorry. your s. Yeah, You've yeah, done a PSA, a post. <laughs> I've looked at it and I've kind of looked at the proportion, like the coloration, like, uh, like the What are you talking about? You get, and I, I also, it's a good thing to do. While it's coming out, I kind of like examine like, how easy it is to come out as well. And like, they're I'm talking about shit. And, like, they're talking talk about shit. Wait, wait, wait. Men are disgusting. Yeah, I, you tried to open the door whilst I was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Harry would have really smelly shits. The men's toilets were absolutely disgusting. I went in there once and the air smelled thick. It was hot. There was water everywhere. There was like no soap and hardly any toilet roll. Skid marks everywhere. It was like the trenches in that toilet. Hem hemorrhoids hemorrho hemorrho when like your vein comes out of your Yeah, yeah. it was so what, actually, I don't think that's the medical term for that. Let's ask the girl a question. Here we go. What gives what gives guy, 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 Somebody who's too stable mentally. <laughs> and that's what we should not be encouraging nowadays. Max, what gives you the ick? You have to have no back. I ain't got lashes on. Yeah, you know, f clap, man. Oh! Take it back. No. Take it back. She looks so dead right now. Oh my oh. god. I remember. So we knew this was Max's humour at the time. But on that outside, I remember people went fucking mental about this. They were like, he hates women. But no one actually gave a shit at the time. We just thought it was funny. But he would come out with the most wild shit. Like, if I had no makeup on, he'd be like, yeah, you're clapped. I'd be like, yeah, fair. I feel like you're in your gym. Oh my god, me and Ilias <laughs> handcuffed. <laughs> I remember thinking my boyfriend's gonna go fucking ape shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We've got game face, game time now, look. Ooh, the hair's off, the hair's off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in my defense, I didn't realize what that looked like when I was doing it. And I remember after being like, this is gonna start an argument with Bill, but. 
I wouldn't suck Ilias's penis. I'm gonna put that out there. Look how good I am at this. Never mind. Oh, right, okay, this was iconic. I remember everyone had the biggest go at Max after this. We all thought this was a joke to start with as well, and then she actually got pissed off, and we all stopped laughing. We were like, yeah, fair. I can't watch that. I cannot. I love them, but that was horrible to watch. It's like, you know, when they're like white people try the things and they just shouldn't try it. That was a exhibit A of that. I know girls support girls, but you know, not even women's rights could help me support them. Big up women's rights. They put their heart and puss into that, but seriously, nothing was going on there. I was just waiting for it to end. God bless. Me to this day. I don't know what happened there. I know what's coming. <laughs> Oh my what god. Are you doing? What are you doing? Guys. That would only be acceptable in a sex offender wing. He's dipping bread in milk. That's sex offender behaviour. I said it, it again. Yeah, He's going to get a list. I told you. Oh, the only time me and Harry agreed he will be on a list. That was horror. Episode three. Last night. Last night. Laid there, duvet on, asleep. Asleep. Yes. In destiny. I really did think something was going on there, I'll be honest. I didn't realise it was all a ruse. I didn't realise I... And also, me in the background, I look dead. Oh, they're like this. On Get your leg up. Thank you, Grace. Right. I'm in here not seeing my boyfriend for two weeks. I'm going to live through them. So I was just sat there listening. And no so shame. I did. So I did. Oh, I'm actually a peeping Tom. I am. Arrest me. Take me. I can't lie. I said it from the beginning, yeah. Elias and Destiny, I've seen something going in between us. I'm happy for my boy Elias, though. I still think they would have made a great match. So, you know, if the wind blows them together at any point, maybe they'll fork. I, I, I'm a little bit jealous, not gonna lie. You know what, I'm a little bit jealous. No, I'm joking. Um, they're... Kate should have fucked Billy. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, I don't know if where this is paused is on screen, but I've been violated. Let's go. Oh my God, hide and seek! This is the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Ugh, what is this angle? Kate caught me, I shot myself. This was an iconic hiding spot, by the way. I could have been going for days and I'd have no clue that she was there. Iconic. The first place, of course, that I'm gonna check is under my bed. The anxiety. I thought, well, what am I meant to do now? Because he's in the bedroom. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll take, I'll take the bedroom, look through the bedroom, you take the kitchen. The football was hard to take as well because it would be played with 24 seven. Losers. Like, no. Oh. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at you twice. Like I wouldn't give really? you the double take. <laughs> you, know you know you actually look like my ex. The bit. honesty. Like, I remember, like, the one that was on and off for seven years. Yeah, I remember you talking. Oh. The fact that Rachel was with a man for seven years, this girl needs a Nobel Prize. What the fuck? Interesting. I thought I would be your time. Why? Of course he you did. Know, for some reason I felt it. I felt it. No, I felt it as well. I feel like I, I, feel, like, I feel like if I spoke to you. You like my personality. Violation. So your looks are shit, but your personality could be alright. No, it. Sounds like all my exes. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the hands touch. There was a connection there, and I know there was. Everyone can lie to me, but I know there was. Are you not? You not generally think I could. Yeah, I think you could too. I, I don't think Ilias could fuck Kate. I don't think that's Kate's type, and I don't think Kate would have it. What do you think? She's feeling you, bro. I, I say she's feeling. But I, I think she's happy, I think she tried. Yeah, yeah. She would not fight, she would end for me. Yeah, that's oh. the way. No, isn't that she... I mean, to be fair, the options in that house were very limited. So, I mean, it's either that or hump your pillow at night. Right, that was me reacting to the first three episodes of Locked In. Uh, if you enjoyed it and want to see me do more, comment down below. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.